Thank you. Uh, appreciated you coming out, checking out uh, the silver bullets. Once again, a quick walk around on the 27 to familiarize you just a little more with what we talked about. Uh, I think you guys know I'm very partial to this 27 foot Airstream Flying Cloud front twin. So, start with the outside. These are all, this is the sunglasses. This is Lexan, which is going to offer certainly all that ground protection from all that road debris, but also you've got these great little uh, rolled uh, awnings here where I can I can set that awning in any position I like. Also, tempered glass. We talked about three position jealousy windows. Uh, you guys were here in the rain. Uh, we knew that all those windows were open and we didn't have to worry about any sliders or, or the opportunity for rain to come in. Stainless steel, this is all about certainly protecting the airstream, but also I call it the jewelry. It's the, uh, it's the cool factor when it comes to uh, rolling down the road. These pivot out so we can clean behind here. Um, you've got storage. This is what's really great about Airstream is that all of these wonderful storage areas, which by the way, have all diamond plate interiors, they're all LED lit, you have some beautiful insulation here, which is, you know, on the twin, you have a storage compartment front uh, on the side, you have storage compartment front, and you have storage compartment on the opposite side, so port, starboard, storage, everywhere. The, uh, this is the Barker system. This will uh, offer that opportunity to uh, level the trailer, but obviously this is also ease of operation when we are uh, loading this thing onto that vehicle. So obviously when you're hitching this thing up, it's nice to have power, it's nice to have light, a leveling system. And then you have twin 30 pound propane tanks. 30 pounds of propane, I'm sorry, 60 pounds of propane. That allows you to do certainly that off-grid thing, that boondocking if you would like, but above and beyond that, uh, as far as enough um, uh, fuel for anything you're going to use that's propane related. Dual deep cell batteries, you've got two batteries. They're both um, interstate 12 uh, volt deep cycle marine type batteries. They're gonna last for years. We cross-reference them so that certainly they're providing that power for you. If you're going to do the weekend warrior thing, I'm going camping for the weekend, I've got power to do that. You have a quick disconnect propane port. That allows you to maybe set up that uh, little gas grill that you can actually backflow into the entire system. But to have that uh, protected uh, quick disconnect propane port is kind of the cool factor. So as we work our way around, quickly noting, all of your running lamps, all of your uh, rear lamps, all of your uh, interior lighting is all LED. We talked about the fact that this thing's going to be around a lot longer than, uh, than the two of us. By the way, Rodney, I'm pretty sure that an Airstream is grizzly proof. So you don't have to worry about bears when it comes to, because I know you're going to be doing some uh, uh, West Coast kind of uh, uh, camping with this thing. We also, we talked about, this is the, while it's the cool factor, you have this uh, awning system. This is all sunbrella fabric. It's done in this beautiful graphite color. The cool thing about that is you're not going to see any, any dirt, any mold, mildew, whatever, on this sunbrella fabric. It breathes, but also it is... Um, uh, done on the bias so it will always keep that tensile strength. It's more about how good the thing looks just sitting there. We've got stuff like you have your uh, sewer hose uh, storage area, but I think I told you on that one, Rodney, while it's great for your sewer hose, we can always put this thing in the back and then what? Well, guess what? We're going to use this for our fly fishing rods. You've got an outdoor shower, both hot and cold running water. We're gonna hose off. Uh, we're gonna hose off Duchess. We're gonna hose off uh, that beautiful grandbaby. We're gonna utilize this uh, outside shower. Wonderful. You have locking potable water. This water is central. It is located in between the axles. So the great thing about that is it it is 
protecting your potable water resource. Your sewer system, your septic, is in front of the rear axles. That's a protection factor from maybe that PVC getting bumped by a curb. It is literally protected by the rear axles. Uh, you have your TV satellite, you have it with a cable hookup, and then you have that 30 amp service which has the LED indicator lamp. We talked about the Dexter axle system. Basically an independent suspension which Airstream has been utilizing for years, but above and beyond that, yet yeah, it's a beautiful ride. With this uh, shock absorber system and the Dexter axle system, um, you, it, it's just going to be, uh, you have no lube hubs, you have never adjust brakes. So once again, this is an efficient system that Airstream has been using for years. With the addition of the awning, what I love is my refrigeration system is right here. This is going to protect, if you will, that uh, refrigerator. It's going to basically turn it into a, a longevity kind of a thing. Um, all aluminum access panels, which are also buck riveted. This is all buck riveting as far as Airstream with radius windows. Look at all the light that's going to pour in to the 27. Other travel trailers will utilize trade windows, if you will, and their sliders. We had a little uh, reason to use our windows in the middle of a, a, a downpour, so we know how these, uh, how efficient the Airstream windows are. Uh, come on around. The, uh, the Airstream, you have an additional rear awning. And along with the rear window awning, once again, all tempered glass, the 27-footer has panoramic windows that wrap front and back. Think about just opening the front and back windows and the amount of air that I can pull through an Airstream travel trailer. All of your lighting, once again, is all LED. And then you have the beautiful concept here. You've got a trunk. I love the trunk. That's going to be our storage for our leveling blocks, our... Uh, our hoses, our uh, sewer hoses, and the bottom line is uh, front and uh, starboard and port storage, front storage and rear storage on the 27. Doesn't get any better than that. Now, when we talk about the awning on the 27 foot Airstream, it runs the entire length of the. I think I told you that uh, Danita could put this awning down by herself in about a minute and a half. I love the fact there's, you know, it's not an automatic awning and there's no, you don't have to worry about issues with parts. Uh, running lamps, we've got the, we've got an LED lamp, which I call my step light, but that's going to be that light that I use to find my keys when I'm coming back to that dark campsite. You've got an exterior uh, porch lamp that's going to light up the entire area and then with the addition of 2016, of LED lamps that run the entire length of the awning and they're on a rheostat or on a uh, uh, dimmer switch. Now when we talk about uh, Airstream doors, first of all this is our people protector. This is that, uh, this is your your grandbaby along with your uh, the dog protector. And when an Airstream door shuts, an Airstream door shuts. Look at the, it takes Airstream eight hours to manufacture a single door. You have more light that's coming in here. And once again, that's a kind of, to me, that is the sound of quality. Now, we know how this thing is built on the exterior. We talked about that 3M finish on that beautiful Alcoa aluminum. Uh, 20 years, we don't know how long that finish is going to last. That goes to maintenance. Uh, how all in you want to go when it comes to uh, how do I maintain my Airstream. But what's beautiful about an Airstream, frankly, it's the interior. Come on in. What catches our eye, obviously, as we walk into the 27 is how beautifully laid out it is. All of your controls are at your fingertips at the door, which means I can turn on all of my lighting, exterior, interior lighting, my battery disconnect, my access ports to the, um, uh, to the pantry area are here. I have more storage underneath here. I've got storage underneath the seating. But when I walk in, what catches my eye is all the light that's pouring in. I've got overhead lighting that, that I 
I can close off as far as my skylights are concerned. I have all these beautiful radius Airstream windows. I have the Vista View windows, and then I have the wonderful panoramics. So once again, the setup here for me from a living environment is beautiful. You've got the rear dinette with the double drop down. So I've got my sleeper here. I've got the pullout here. Where am I going to put that beautiful grandbaby? Or where's, uh, where's that lab going to sit? Right here. Now we talked about the leather. This is ultra leather from Airstream. It came to us, frankly, through Mercedes-Benz. The great thing about this, you can't scratch this. You can't mess with the finish. Uh, the, you know, she comes out of the out of the lake, and we're and she's laying down on these beautiful cushions. We don't worry about water. So once again, the setup is absolutely beautiful. All radiant, all the lighting, by the way, all the lighting is all rheostated, so I can dim or I can, and it's all LED. The next thing would be you have fantastic fans. You've got them fore and aft, so these will pull tens of thousands of cubic feet of air. Uh, there will be plenty of opportunity for use to use AC, but I mean this is that white noise that moves the air through. All of your vents are all stainless steel capped and they can be shut off, which means a single AC unit can direct the airflow of all of this beautiful uh, air conditioning anywhere. I need it in when we're in the living area for when we're here during the day. Maybe at night I want to move it to the uh, master bedroom so that I have that opportunity. Um, now, LED lamps, I've got reading lamps, I've got the Clarion sound system, I've got uh, beautiful um, uh, Bluetooth uh, CD DVD, I've got USB ports, I have the ability to hook up my computer to run things such as Netflix, Pandora, radio, I love the radius finish on all the cabinetry, so let's face it, the living area and I, once again, we've got this rear entrance. When you back into most of those beautiful campsites you're going to be staying at, what's going to be out the back? That's going to be the, the pond, the lake, the trees. So the rear living area is stunning. We move then into the galley area. Lots of, lots of storage, deep well stainless. By the way, you do have that, um, you have that Lexan cover for the sink itself. Great storage area walking uh, when you're driving down the road. I've got beautiful access here for all of my, my pantry space, my storage area, and uh, uh, dividers for uh, silverware. I, in this opportunity, I have not only the oven with the three burner, three burner range, uh, but I also have that hidden microwave in the pantry. So I've got all that beautiful pantry space, overhead storage, and then the fun stuff which would be the ocean air blinds to my porthole windows. Now the brains of the operation here are going to be the computerized um, monitors. I have my battery monitor and I have all my tanks so everything is at my fingertips. GFI outlet along with my inverter system. We talked a little bit about that inverter system. That will allow me to plug in a 110 appliance into my, if you will, my battery uh, box. What that means is not just a, every travel trailer has a converter, which converts that beautiful shore power to run my 12-volt uh, appliances, but it has an inverter system, which takes the power from those dual deep cell batteries, puts it directly into an outlet where I can plug in my computer, my TVs. How do I use that? Well, the rest area, things like that. I've got the big Dometic here, refrigerator, freezer. Great thing about that is, is that it, it's also got a brain. If I'm plugged into shore power, I'm getting ready to roll down the road. I can fill this thing up when it's cold. When I pull my shore power, automatically switches over to my propane resource. When I get to the campsite plug back in, it automatically switches back to the optimum source, which is going to be shore power. So obviously the setup on the galley is absolutely stunning. You've got everything at your, at your fingertips here. Once again, this is the 27-foot flying cloud. Now we're talking living space. I have guests. I have guests. I literally can um, cordon off various areas if my guests are... Uh, in the front living area, then I can take care of that by 
taking out, I can separate myself from the front living area, which would allow me to use the lavatory or allow me to use the, uh, the big um, walk-in shower or have access to both of my wardrobes. Then, let's say, if I'm done with my uh, time in the lavatory and the shower, I then have the opportunity to separate myself uh, from the master bedroom so that then my guests can have access to both. So once again, I believe just a really smart floor plan. This is beautiful. On the 27, I have, if even if I have my two partitions closed, I have all this light pouring in. So if I'm utilizing the, the back and forth as far as the, the lavatory and the shower, wonderfully accomplished. This walk-in shower has got a pebbled uh, glass door. You've got seating in there. You've got overhead 12-volt fan to move all that. You've got a, uh, a uh, uh, clothesline. And you have two points of contact as far as turning your water off and on. That's all about the conservancy thing. Now, the lavatory. Come on back and check out this lavatory. Okay. So my lavatory has that beautiful porcelain base on it. Lots of storage. Lots of overhead uh, mirrors. You've got an additional 12-volt fan in there. I've got plenty of room to change my socks. Stainless steel mowing um, faucets. So, and you have your uh, an additional uh, resource as far as the furnace is concerned. So it's always going to be warm in the shower. I mean, in the uh, lavatory. So once again, the the lavatory sets up beautifully, and then you have dual LED lights that can be um, you can access them, but turn on uh, any amount of lights that you might require. The lavatory set up in the 27. It's golden. Now we then access our beautiful uh, master bedroom. Overhead, um, fantastic fan. Now I've got, look at all of the light that pours in here. I've got vista views. I'm sorry, panoramics in front. I've got these beautiful uh, uh, windows on either side. So the amount of air that I can move through here is just wonderful. The twin beds allow not only storage underneath, but also you have dual wardrobes on either side. And then you have the beautiful access storage uh, across the front. And then you have a nightstand. So you have um, 110 outlets and USB ports for the nightstand. LED reading lamps. These are pillow topped. Pillow topped. Um, the, the mattresses in an Airstream, frankly, are the best of the best. It doesn't get any better than this. And I've got room here to change my socks. Um, your beautiful black lab's got a place to hang out, if you will. And then we have the Dometic system. Now you're going to have the 28-inch TV in front, the 23-inch TV in back. But my Dometic system is my heating and cooling system. The great thing about this, it's one touch. It is, I guess I would akin it to what you got at home. I can set my temperature or I can access, uh, I can access all of the heating and cooling here. The one thing we didn't talk about, I want to remind you, we have two heating sources. I have my forced air furnace, but I also have the opportunity to use my heat pump. The heat pump is kind of a bonus because in a cool morning, I'm utilizing the uh, condenser, if you will, on my AC unit to heat my entire travel trailer. Uh, that's neat because instead of using my propane resource, I'm utilizing my uh, electric resource. Once again, everything at your fingertips uh, I love the setup on the master bedroom in the 27 cloud. Guys, I want to thank you once again. Uh, it's time to hitch onto this thing. Uh, grab that beautiful grandchild. Head down the road. Uh, give me a call if you can. Eric Davis, area code 614-279-8880. Or you can give me a shout out uh, via email, eric at haydesy.com. I always uh, end my uh, videos on the same uh, advice. I want you to first of all enjoy the journey, but most of all, happy camping.